What's up guys, it's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another review. Today we have something I'm very excited about. This is the Beast Gohan, or Sun Gohan Beast as labeled on the box, from SH Figure Arts. It is the first of the flexible plastic for the Gi um, that we have for Figure Arts with Orange Piccolo coming next. Here we have our box. You can see, you know, product image of Gohan here. Uh, it says Sun Gohan Beast here. You have some images with the additional faceplate, which is the transformation faceplate. Some other images with his effect. And other images of the figure. So let's crack this guy open quickly and show you what we got in the box. This right here is your stand. Here is your base. For the effect, you have three face plates, yelling, smirking, uh, teeth gritting, and then your uh, looks angry, but neutral face for Gohan. You have crossed arms, transformation plate. You have your effect piece for him. You have two... Uh, open palm hands to other open palm hands for like an energy ball attack and his karate or yeah i'm just gonna call it karate martial arts posed hands so let's open this up and show off what we have Here he is out of the box, and I would like to show the hair off. If you saw my DL Customs hair, you know that's more straight up. Um, this is larger in scale and further back, which is more accurate to the movie. Then you get this piece of plastic in here to protect from paint rub. It's underneath the belt in between the flexible piece of plastic for the gi. And then here he is, full 3.0 body. So, arms, and they seem kind of tight, do not go to 90. We have flexible plastic here for the shoulder piece. And it rotates up, but is somewhat caught and will only go that high on there. Now you can take this off. I'm not going to pull it off with the arms to show that off. The head gets some side to side movement. Can fully rotate 360. We'll look up that high and down incredibly low. For the ab crunch, he goes decently far down. Even though it is that flexible plastic, he has decent movement. But he doesn't go back too far, but he does go back. You got waist rotation, which I can swivel the legs a full 360. Double jointed elbows. Double wall peg for the wrist that rotates freely 360. Leg kicks out that far, back hardly at all. You get a double jointed knee. You have a boot cut here. And then you get some decent swivel with a very mobile toe hinge. Great looking action figure. I love the way they did the hair. I'll quickly show you the face plate swap. It does show how to do that. <clears throat> but there's two pegs right there in the hair. Comes out. You plug it into the hair. And then you plug it into the other part of the hair. And we will quickly show the effect. I have it with the wrong hand. Let's 
somewhat tight. Let's get the corresponding hand one here. So it holds pretty well. As you can see, the arm holds it very well. Not sure. Butterfly joint seems to have some movement issues to be able to actually grab as shown on the box. I cannot get it to go that far. And I'll show you the box. But that's as far as I can get it to move. And then with the stand, let's see how it. Oh, I see where it plugs. It is a ball. Ball joint. It'll plug in here. And then it will plug onto the base. Heard the snap. There he is. looks very good um, you only have that little piece of plastic in between the fingers holding the effect in so I would say be weary of that to ensure that you do not accidentally break it off or it falls But it looks great. Very well done figure. I think the uh, effect itself could have used a little better paint. Um, in the movie, I remember having it, it having some red to it unsure as to why um, it was just painted a clear blue but it still looks good and I will quickly show off the transformation faceplate you can see that red in there it looks very good for the eyes it's when he becomes enraged that piccolo dies and it triggers his transformation into beast gohan special beam cannon again i think it could have had better paint I see very good ones on eBay so the special beam can effect is is nice that they included an effect but I've I've saw better versions of it then one of the other things I would like to show off is the paint applications I'm not going to do the uh, crossed arms I've heard nightmares and I can already see I'm going to have to heat up um, the arms to get them together enough because this flexible plastic for the um, shoulders here seems to really get in the way of the articulation but for the paint here we just have a hole cut out that shows some skin behind it you got some rips on the back of the gi that will be different and some scratches um, that'll be different than what you get with the regular movie Gohan, you have this cut here, cut on the knee, cut on the inner thigh, outer thigh, and some just rips and scratches 
all along the figure. But it looks very good. Very nice figure. Job well done. My rating on this is going to be a 9 out of 10. Great effects. Um, it would be a 9.5. I'm going to deduct half a point for articulation. It might just be something I have to work with with the flexible plastic. It seems very flexible, so I'm unsure as to why it's getting in the way of the articulation, but it seems as though it is. I got some decent forward movement out of that one. Do I got to like rotate the flexible plastic around a little bit maybe let's see that left arms going all the way in there we go if it's down a little bit it goes forward further and then here you have it even further so it does take away from some of the articulation the paint looks great I've saw some bad paint jobs on where the skin is because this will be purple plastic you can see the shade of purple underneath it that is not the case with this one so it looks great the uh, hair scale and overall look of the figure is excellent so I think they did a very good job on this Gohan um, <clears throat> one of the things lacking in paint again is the special beam cannon get a ton of accessories so you get Four face plates, um, four different hands, and then one with the special beam cannon charging effect. So you get plenty of accessories. And then one of the things I did not show is it does come with a shipper box. But that's it for the review, guys. Please stay tuned. I will have some of the posed pictures in the short section and i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button if you'd like to see more content from me as i release please subscribe to the channel all right guys see ya